morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse, please, from John chapter 4, verse 14. It says this, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I will give shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him as a well of water springing up into everlasting life. John chapter 4 verse 14. The heading I've given to our thought today is this. Stop looking for contentment in the things of earth and find true contentment in the God of heaven. How many so-called Christians complain in the day in which we live of not having enough money or they don't have enough uh, uh, of the most up-to-date furnishings in their house or they haven't got the new car that is out at the moment. God forgive them for they know not Christ. You see, for the true child of God finds his contentment and his fulfillment of all his desires in Christ and in Christ alone. And the things of earth will spoil that contentment. You see, the person who truly believes in Jesus finds in, uh, enough in the Lord to satisfy him now and for all eternity. For the believer's joy and contentment comes from within, not from those things that are with, without. His faith is as a spring of joy, a fountain of contentment. Put the believer into a dungeon and he'll find good company. Put him into the barren wilderness, and he will eat the bread of heaven. Take all his friends away, and he will meet with a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Destroy all the shade, and he will still find shade in the shadow of the rock, in a weary land, in the shadow of the rock of all ages. Put him into a den of lions, and he'll find a closer fellowship with Christ. And your cup will overflow with joy, not misery. You see, there is such a fullness in Christ that he alone is the believer's all-sufficiency. The true child of God is completely satisfied with the provision of Jesus, and he no longer thirsts for anything else except for more and more of Christ. And he will find it his joy to thirst in, in, uh, uh, and to partake of Christ. The thirst for more of Jesus. One old believer said, I have been lowered in the bucket into the well of God's sufficiency for so long, but now my thirst for Jesus has become so strong that I long to put the well itself to my lips. Isn't that wonderful? And drink right out of it. Do you find this is your desire, friends? Are all your desires satisfied in Christ? And that you have no need of nothing else save more of him and more fellowship with him. Then come continually to the fountain and take the water of life freely, says God's word, and your thirst will be satisfied. The hymnist said, I am contented with Jesus. I hope he's contented with me through sunshine and rain. He's always the same. I am contented with him. Isn't that wonderful? contented with him. Remember, godliness with contentment is great gain. If you are discontented in life, friends, then you need to take a spiritual health check on where you are in Christ, for it is Christ who should be your life, and there is no one who can be discontented with Christ. God bless each one of you. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.